Hello all, welcome to another episode of GitHub Copilot. In today's episode, we'll see how Generative AI is supporting our command line interface. The CLI Copilot CLI is released as a public beta on 8th of November. It's available for all the Copilot for Business users. If you are using Copilot for Business, you will be able to enable Copilot CLI from your GitHub administration site. And you can install and use it from a command prompt angle. So the corresponding document is available. In this particular docs area, I will share this as part of the description of this video. How to set up and enable Copilot in your organization settings. The details are provided here. Even installation of the CLI and some of the commands are explained here. So let us have a look on how the CLI is going to help or how this generative A is playing a role in command line. So I have the terminal open here. So let me just ask Copilot, what are the features it's able to support? So GH Copilot after installation and login to Copilot command line interface, the command is GH Copilot, enter. It provides the details, the A command line Copilot uh, usages you have GH Copilot, there are multiple options like configuration, explain, and suggest. So let us start with suggest, how to suggest a new command. That is what we are looking at. So let me go ahead and ask for GH Copilot suggest. So either after this, I can ask what exactly required, or you can press enter. And the copilot will ask me which area I need suggestion. So copilot currently support the shell command, gh command and github command. So let us go for the shell command and I am asking for list files with a specific string in the name. So let me see how copilot is helping me. So it's given something like find dot name, this is the shell command. So and given set of options here, I can ask to explain the command, revise the command and rate the response or exit. So and again, copy the command to clipboard so that I can execute it after this one. So let me go to revise it. Um, how should I revise? So I have the file name with test in it. So let me see whether Copilot is able to link it. So yeah, it's able to. It's provided the command with the start test test. So test is the word or string I am expecting as part of the name. It looks fine. It's uh, good. So I can copy the one. So let me just go ahead and copy. Copy is done and I am going to exit and trying to paste it. Yeah, it's copy is working fine. I am able to paste the command. Let me again go back to Copilot suggest to try a little more complex scenario. So again, going for shell command. Now I need list files containing the word token and current directory and all subfolders. So I am mixing the terminologies directory in the windows and folder in Mac both got mixed here. Let me see whether Copilot is able to help me with this one. So grep minus r token that may not give me the complete one so i need the list of files also so let me revise this add command for listing file names and path which contain the above word 
So it's uh, going to crep it and list with token. And it may be the command, I'm not sure. So let me go ahead and ask Copilot itself to explain the command. So grep is searches for a pattern in file, then minus r what it's doing, minus l it's explained, and the pattern of the search. All these details are explained in detail. So let me go and exit this and again going for a suggest. This time let us look at a little more different cloud centric command kind of thing. So let me ask Copilot um, provisioning of AKS cluster with two node of 8 GB size at ingress controller. This is what I needed. Let us see whether it's able to give me the AC command. Cool. It's able to create the complete AC command with the AKS create resource group and the cluster name, node count, all details are provided here. I can go ahead and explain or revise the command. Let me revise with a different resource group name. Resource group name is my AKS cluster. This is the name needs to be used. Copilot should give me the exactly the same command with the resource group name my AKS cluster. It's replaced this one. So let me ask Copilot to explain this command. So it should explain each of the parameters. So what exactly a AC command is doing, AKS create and resource group, and there is an add-on enablement for the ingress controller. That aspect also it's provided and the entire details at the end the resource manager identifier for the existing application gateway so the complete explanation is provided here so it works with a shell command cloud specific especially assure right now let us try with a aws also is it going to help me so provision aws is three bucket So it's given as AWS command S3 API, create the bucket and some details are provided. So let me just ask the explanation so that the copilot will be able to explain me what exactly each of these parameters. Based on that, I can revise the command again, align to my requirements. So it's work across different command prompt and everything. It's not only really shell command the cloud specific commands also rendered properly so let me again go ahead and get a suggestion on github command so i need to list the last commit by the user along with commit message what will be the command for that it's provided the complete GraphQL API, which shows the commit, the last commit from me, and the pages and everything is provided and details are given. So it's a GraphQL is provided here. Let me go for a simple one, like um, again, GH anchor. So I need get details of last PR. So this is another GHPR command which lists the last PR details in a JSON format and display the things. Even I can ask Copilot to explain the each of the parts of this command. Cool, it's able to explain it. So let me go ahead and exit it now. And one more area it support is the Git. 
so let me see git command how to how to reject the last commit so git command is required for rejecting the last command so i am resetting the head to minus one step before so the last commit is not taken so let it explain that as well so copilot is going to explain what exactly head tilt one specify that we are resetting to the commit one before the current one that is what i expected so copilot is able to suggest the commands from shell command anchor the normal shell commands the cloud specific commands as well as git and github specific commands so you can use the clis to get the support on all kind of commands and you can rephrase with the more input informations and revise the command further to align to our requirements getting a support of a command in a command line prompt or prompt base is of a great help here so let me go for the next one that is copilot explain or even okay let me just go for explain and here i need to specify some command so let me just take the previous one itself and if you have some complex command shell command you can ask copilot to explain exactly the same way it's explained earlier it explain any of the publicly available command either you can do this way or explain paste the command here itself so that copilot will be able to explain that one in one go so it's not required to wait for what exactly your command or anything you can pass it as a parameter at the end of the explain area now we have one more option that is uh, config so let me try that one what exactly config is going to so usage analytics whether we need to allow copilot team to collect the usage analytics or not so this one i can allow github to collect the information or no so i am going with the no right now and exit these are the features go ahead and explore the github copilot cli it's a a or generative a support in your terminal window itself it's of great value thank you